you live in a country that is the richest country in the history of the world with the absolute worst possible healthcare system you could ever design. It is as bad as you may think it is, folks, it is worse. It's awful. And I'm a doctor in the system. Dr. Spellberg is in the system. And Dr. Spellberg, your first sentence in your introduction, which I could not agree with more, reads, the U.S. healthcare system is the greatest ripoff perpetrated on the American people in the last century. I give you the floor. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. Travis. So <clears throat> I... I realize that that sentence or sentiment may be a little off-putting to some, but as I thought about it, I don't know how else you describe a situation where objectively speaking, the American people are overspending by more than a trillion dollars per year in waste and excess cost for the privilege of dying younger than people who live in other wealthy countries. We spend way more, but we die younger and have higher death rates. And our healthcare system was never rationally designed to deliver healthcare. It is an accident of history. We can definitely do better than what we have. And there's the financial cost, there's the cost of life, but also something that people haven't talked about enough. You and I trained as doctors, we are doctors, so we spend a lot of time in hospitals. No one goes to the hospital for fun. Even if you work in a hospital, you're going there to work. And part of our overutilization, and this is coming from the perspective of someone who we just had our baby boy and due to some complications, we spent the better part of four days in the hospital as in, I'll call it, my, my wife was a patient, my newborn son Grayson was a patient. And by the end of the fourth day, I kept thinking to myself, wow, <laughs> for people who are not in healthcare, what an incredibly trying experience to spend that much time in a hospital. The mental, emotional anguish, in addition to, I wasn't sick. I was there for my wife and my child. And I, I'm sitting here thinking, wow, from the patient side of things, not just the financial cost, but the the way that healthcare is set up in our, our country, we overutilize resources. You have stories in your book where people use, people are admitted to the hospital and they quite frankly would do just as well at home for much cheaper. But because our healthcare system is all about, in my opinion, first and foremost, profits now, the consumer gets lost in the shuffle. 